Tread carefully. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. That violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. This is... odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out... Revelio! Why. why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Pelt. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. Revelio! This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy. Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach. Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. The siege at Hogwarts will not serve you well. I would say that Irondale is not appropriately named. <laughs> the Ministry ought to loosen the reins on the Dark Arts. No better protection, if you ask me. You! What do you think you're doing? Bombarda. Glacius. No. 
Merlin, you think they were guarding the Minister for Magic himself? What is going on here? Only one way to find out. Revelio. What in Merlin's name? Are those dragons? Dragon fighting ring. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Will they join us? Ah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't gonna get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, hmm. then violence is gonna get me precisely what I want. Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her out, shall we? Look, they've got a dragon egg. Hepodean from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Alohomora.
All right, I have the egg. Ready. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count. What I wouldn't give to be a demo guys right now. Careful! Ramrod the one is dragging in tact! In black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. 
We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. the transformation spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the turn. know about the newborn Thestral. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts, but sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts, that Master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged Master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself, before Tobbs found him. It sounds to me as if your master got what he deserved. Deke never wanted anyone to get hurt. Not the Phoenix, not Tobbs, and not even Master. Deke often wonders what became of that Phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before.
Revelio. So this is the underground harbor. Revelio. The Grey Lady. <laughs> I'd say hello, but she doesn't seem particularly social. Revelio. Revelio. With me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I am hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Can we meet at the Three Broomsticks? It may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. Looking for the book Intermediate Trans Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ugh. Oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? 
The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question! Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Felix Felicis. Well done! Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organised competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artefacts? The Deathly Hallows. Correct! According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? The Quaffle. That's right! When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false, Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. False. Correct. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. I'd like to answer more questions. What governmental body directly preceded the Ministry of Magic? The Wizards' Council. That's correct! The Wizards' Council disbanded in 1707 after the creation of the International Statute of Wizarding Secrecy, which required a more structured government to support its enforcement. Which dragon breed is the smallest? The Peruvian Viper Tooth. Brilliant! Though the Viper Tooth is the smallest breed, averaging at around 15 feet in length, it is also the fastest breed and feared for its venomous fangs. Who founded the village of Hogsmeade? Hengist of Woodcroft. That's right! It is believed that Hengist used the Three Broomsticks Inn as his home. The hide behind was accidentally created by crossbreeding a ghoul with what other magical creature? A demiguise. Yes! While the hide behind has the power of invisibility, those who have seen it have described it as a tall, thin monkey with silver hair. What is the only spell known to repel a Letherfold? The stunning spell. Actually, the answer was the Patronus charm. The only known survivor of a Letherfold attack was a wizard named Flavius Belby, who was on holiday in Papua New Guinea at the time. Who published the law of elemental transfiguration? Gamp. That's it! One of the principal exceptions to Gamp's law is that food cannot be conjured, though it can be summoned. What does the Hogwarts motto translate to? Never tickle a sleeping dragon. Correct! In Latin, the Hogwarts motto is Draco Dormians Nunquam Titillandus. Which magical creature is the only one known to produce eggs through its mouth? The rune spore. That's right! According to Parcel Mouths, each of the rune spore's three heads serves a different function. The left head is the planner, the middle is the dreamer, and the right is the critic. Where is Ilvermorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry located? Mount Greylock. Well done! The American school was founded in the 17th century by Esalt Sayre and James Stewart. What is the most powerful love potion known to wizard kind? 
Amatentia. That's the answer. Amatentia smells differently to every person, according to what they find attractive. Such as dusty book covers, or... <clears throat> Are you interested in continuing on to the next round? They're my most difficult questions. Give me your worst. Wonderful! I do admire your thirst for knowledge. Emmerich the Evil was killed in a duel against whom? Egbert the Egregious. That's right! Emmerich gained notoriety for terrorizing villages in the south of England during the Middle Ages, when he was the master of the Elder Wand. If a chaser keeps their hand on the quaffle as it goes through the goal, what foul are they committing? Have a sucking. That's right! Blatching is flying to intentionally collide with a player. Stooging is when two chasers knock the other team's keeper away from the goals so that a third chaser can score. A bite from a mackled malaclaw has the unusual side effect of causing what? Bad luck. Correct! Native to the European coastline, the effects of a malaclaw's bite can last up to a week. What plant excretes stinks up? Mimbulus Mimbletonia. Correct! The Mimbulus Mimbletonia plant secretes stink sap as a defensive mechanism when touched. The Pepper Up potion evolved from a remedy created by which 12th century wizard? Linford of Stinchcombe. Very good! Centuries later, Glover Hipworth would expand on Linford's previous work to create the Pepper Up potion we know today. In the Wizard and the Hopping Pot, what does the Elder Wizard leave for his son in the Hopping Pot? A single slipper. That's correct! The story was created by Beedle the Bard, but there are a few versions. I won't spoil what the slipper was for if you haven't read it recently. The Snallygaster is native to which region of the world? North America. That's right! The part bird, part reptile, is a distant relative of the Okami and has serrated fangs and a bulletproof hide. Who is the Muggle Knight featured in the Fountain of Fair Fortune? Sir Luckless. Correct! The three witches in the story are named Asher, Althida, and Amata. Oh, I adore a story that ends with a twist. The world's largest Kelpie is also known by what other name? The Loch Ness Monster. Correct. The Office of Misinformation has worked diligently to discredit any Muggle evidence of the Kelpie's existence. Who was the first Minister for Magic? Ulick Gamp. Yes. Gamp's greatest legacy was the founding of the Department of Magical Law Enforcement. It outlawed the unforgivable curses. You've answered all of my questions. Ah, oh, it's nice to know there's another student who appreciates the value of knowledge. I'm frankly astonished by how well you did. You have a talent for trivia. Thank you for humouring me by participating. I had a splendid time. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. Revelio.
Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Beautifully done. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you can brew an impressive Edurus potion. Hopefully you won't need it anytime soon, but it is a valuable potion to have when it is needed. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumours of your extracurricular activities. Was your visit to the kitchens and the Hogsmeade graveyard with Nick to bribe a ghost for information, connected in any way to Professor Fig? Not at all. I'm fascinated by ghosts and um, food, and I was interested in learning more about the castle and the surrounding area. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed.
Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. I remember our meet. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matibilaland, father would still be with us. <sighs> I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus. And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. Anne is getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. Knowing a meat, he's likely studied here.
Revelio.